What it do, what it be, what it do, though, what am I going to do? I'm going to show you guys my clears for no. I'm just going to take you guys to the first stage just so that you guys can see how I use the characters. This is for that Thor team, Beta Lead, Valkyrie, and Thor. And then I use these strikers. I use three agents to give myself 60% ignore dodge. Beta Ray has an energy, so he has more ignore dodge, almost 100% with those three agents. But then Thor has a rage, so he has no ignore dodge. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with Beta. 5, 3, 4, Awaken Skill. I'm going to cancel them all right away. And as you can see, bars just fly. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait till the cage pops up. I'm going to go straight into Valkyrie. Kind of do some damage a little bit. And I'm going to go into Thor. Hold down the fourth skill. Aw, oh, didn't get it. Usually I can pop him out. So about 430 right there to go into the next stage. Now we're going to see the next team. The next team, it's going to be Null, I believe. Yep, Null. And it's important to know that this team has got crazy passives going on, right? <laughs> uh, this team right here doesn't really have too many passives going on, right? It's pretty much just Null. Uh, for Null, I gave him um, one Ignore Dodge Striker. Reason being, he has a CTP of Energy. And I have a really good CTP of energy on him, which gives him 40%. He's a symbiote, which symbiotes have a 10% ignore dodge. So that's 50% right there. And then with that um, agent, it's 70% ignore dodge. So I'm going to wait for this purple cage. Three, five, four, wait till the dragons pop out. And then straight into two, proc on two. All right, and I'm going to do 5-4. Try to do the tier 3, see if I can proc on it. All right, so that was about a 23-second first stage sesh. <laughs> and like I said, it's just his lead. And the reason why he's doing so much, you got to remember, um, on one of his, one of his skills, uh, right here. Increases additional pierce damage by 5%. So he gives himself an additional 5% pierce, which makes him crazy. Mephisto. Um, these, these are the ones that I use for Mephisto. Once again, he has a CTP of judgment, which has no ignore dodge. So I'm giving him three agents. And you guys could really go ahead and, and see the agents that I use. Uh, if you want, they're not good characters, but you could tier two them. Just so that, you know, you can get some ignore dodge, which will help you. Once again, stage one, I don't think you need any, right, to beat it. But it just makes life a little bit easier, especially if you want to go higher. Right here, transform, two, wait till the fire is all around him. One, five, four, you want to proc on the fourth skill. I'm going to run away over here, see if I can ignore the cage. I cannot. And then from here, once again, two, wait till the fire is consumed him all around. One, five, six, wait till the snake comes out straight into four. All right, so that was pretty much a 30 second clear right there. And the good thing about Mephisto, I mean, maybe that doesn't look so impressive. He actually gets better as the fight goes on. Um, just because his tier three is so easily cancelable. Sometimes with no, he can be tricky because if the opponent moves, right, there goes his tier three. And this right here, Cyclops is a support because he gives Cable 30% additional damage through one of his passives. I believe it's this one. And then... Um, yeah, to all allies. He also has a CTP of Insight. The leadership, 50%. 
And then I have Jean Grey because she gives these two. So energy attack and all attack. And then this is what I use for him. As you can tell, I have one ignore dodge striker. And once again, reason for her, 50% through the leadership. One ignore dodge, that's 70%. Gucci. Cable, you're going to do four, three, two, five. Four, I like to wait for a few seconds. And then because I have a rage on him, I'll go ahead and do a one at right at the end. Now, the crazy thing about Cable is this next part right here. So four, three, two, five, six. And that's pretty much all she wrote. <laughs> so that was a 22 second clear right there. Cable's a beast in this mode, man. Um, he is expensive, but for me, well worth it. This is by far the, the best team that I have for Null. I just have Captain Marvel there because she gives energy attack. Once again, ignore dodge. Both Gambit and Moonstone have an energy, so they're rocking between 80 to 90% ignore dodge. So I don't give them any ignore dodge. I just give them pure striking ability. So I usually start off with Gambit. I do six. I wait to about Nightcrawler shows up, then three, five combo, proccing on the five. I wait for this little purple thing to show up though. So right there, once you see Nightcrawler, three, straight into five. Now from here, I'll wait until that symbiote cage comes out, switch over to Moonstone, four, five, six, three, and then that's all she wrote. So that was an 18 second clear. <laughs> and it pretty much just goes the rest of the way. I just, I awaken a skill on one character, do some damage, and then I switch over to another one. So yeah, that's all my clears that I do. Uh, that's how fast it takes me. Like I said, usually I just do stage one because I'm lazy and I want to get it over with. Shoots.